Hi guys, we have the challenge, last week's challenge, uh, feel the heat on Rifts to Gorhal with uh, heroes from, no, no, sorry, <laughs> that was the week before with the Void Rifts and uh, going nuclear. So, we have Jed Edrex and Judas again, also had the one replay sent from Vanya, but uh, as we have Raynor solo, he did it with Reno, then I chose to show this one, this one is a little bit better played uh, with uh, Kerrigan and Artanis, hopefully more people will respond to my challenges as the time progresses. Okay, so let's see what they uh, came up to. Okay, so uh, this uh, should be action pretty soon because uh, okay spines are links uh, as Hedrex and Judas will okay production let's get it on neither <laughs> okay so he says I got it okay it's pretty tough for Artanis early game to deal with the rifts and there will also be a uh, nukes launched in the random locations so but he is uh, nexus legate interesting prestige so at least like he'll be saved from nukes uh, by uh, guardian shell guardian shell is pretty useful this kind of situations okay so we have a, a gas tank and two workers inside two workers here okay and I think Kerrigan should make a little spine or two to, to buy some time, but okay. Judah says he can take it, so let's see if he can really take it. Okay, so this should finish before the first three. First rift spawn at 220. So if you guys didn't know how the rifts spawn, they spawn at 220, then uh, and then every minute and a half first four spawns are double and then it will be quadruple spawns and also when quadruple spawns start uh, it, they can spawn at, in any anywhere in the map okay now we have zealot here and uh, okay this will be a little bit problematic okay guardian shell to the rescue should be okay he ferries the <laughs> zealots that sh should actually now, now it's actually this prestige bite gave me the butt because uh, he can't uh, just like that <laughs> transfer that because it costs money. Okay, and he also needs this. Oh, this was a miss. Oh, that was also kind of. Okay, now we have a little bit of trouble here, but good thing is that Guardian Shell also saves the workers. <laughs> There's the thing, okay, it's a half a minute still to, to go, and good thing is that the first two are shut down. So attack wave is dealt with, and now this one will spawn in 350, but Kerrigan will be out uh, 10 seconds uh, later, so, so it isn't bad, like uh, crisis averted at least for, okay, now I think he doesn't have uh, energy, yep, so he cannot... Yeah, there is a Marauder. Now at custom, you can see the trickle actually comes with a Marauder uh, on Magura's maps or official. Like when you have mutation uh, officially out, then then it's a uh, it's a Marine, not a Marauder. That's kind of it's kind of harder a little bit. Of this okay, Kerrigan is uh, here. Now there are still some dudes coming, so it would be good if Kerrigan would help. Who thing is this carrying and will provide uh, more money? This prestige. Okay, so <coughs> so far Judas only he made six gates and he didn't uh, tech up. He didn't, which is actually good call for early game because he was <coughs> doing the the early game early game carrying. So Kerrigan could actually tech up. That's that's good. If you can do manage this, then it's good because if you make sp spines or links, then it uh, delays your tech. And now Kerrigan did tech up to hive already and these zealots will now take care of this but kerrigan should be here to assimilate this as it says assimilate no can't assimilate yeah not yet time for that but okay can deal with these guys 
Okay, you see that nukes are pretty annoying. But Guardian Shell is a pretty big help against the nukes. Okay, Kerrigan already has Omega. Omega will be a really, really good help over here. Ooh, not paying attention here. Okay, Guardian Shell saves some. Some could not be saved because they already were. Okay, now he faces it, but one dies. Okay. Okay, first charge goes down. Uh, I would actually prefer clearing expansion before clearing the first shard, but okay. Okay, rift. Okay, there are links here and a dragoon, okay. Yeah, I actually rarely play against rifts on custom, so... Uh, is this my other thing? <laughs> I play other solo on Magura's map or uh, when invitation comes out, so uh, I used to play on custom, but now I don't don't do that uh, many uh, videos. And why I'm keeping on Judas is because I can see Tobars carrying and has no Tobars carrying. Just click on her and see abilities. Okay, we have a lot of armor upgrades here, here, we have a Nexus expansion over here, so there are six, no, seven gates now, and a Robo, and now getting Dragoon, I would actually think prefer Zealots, especially because we are against classic infantry, I prefer Zealot uh, upgrades, where is the, well, okay, okay, now, uh, unfortunately also now, Assimilation aura not ready yet. Okay. It was used fairly well so far. Okay, now we have rifts over there, a lot of stuff. And yeah, just lift them. Okay, this will be very hardly as accessible. Okay, but Ally gets the oh who that failed. Okay, should we going second observer over here? At least he, yeah, uh, he actually chose uh, Nexus Legate. I, I think that it should be P P zero Artanis would be best here because it causes him trouble. He has to uh, uh, work uh, with the uh, power field that costs some money. Okay, he managed to finally come here, but oh, uh, this thing died. So the t second time failure to get there. Okay, at least this spawn was was good. Kerrigan okay, still. Oh, <laughs> Mobilization wave used here. Okay, at least this area will now be clear. There is just a bonus here. Okay, it provoked the bonus because if you clear, you see that bonus, the second bonus arrived. Second bonus arrived at. I uh, forget exactly the timing, but but it can arrive earlier if you. Uh, when it always uh, arrives after you clear third shards, if you clear them earlier, or if you clear all the units, or most of units over here, then it will, uh, you see that it's only 10, uh, I mean, it arrived prior to 10 minutes, which uh, actually it would not, the, the first bonus actually arrives at like 11 something. Okay, so you can see that... Uh, now Omega is good, how many we have? Three over here, four, four Omegas, that's it. Another hatchery adding, <laughs> Zerglings on patrol. Okay. Now we have one far rift. So it seems Judas will be dealing mostly with these uh, closed rifts. And uh, Kerrigan, yeah, Drex should deal with it. Okay, assimilate, assimilate, assimilate. Oh, wow, oh no, 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 right, right here, okay. But I guess, fine, assimilate them, ah, that'll be good money of these guys. Hey, maybe he waits for the, for the immobilization wave, so he can go there or something. Okay, now that far, if, to, if one drift is open, it's not so big deal. Because Omegas provide detection, even Banshees can be so much of a nuisance. Okay, now we know ignoring these guys is actually okay-ish, okay, snipe them fast, that's good. 
Okay, got in this. The bad thing here is that you cannot uh, rely on this thing staying open because oh, that's 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 bad. That's bad. It's actually across. So <laughs> okay. Okay, need observer. Yeah, you can see now power field here needed, but uh, it costs money. Okay, but yeah. Uh, okay, this should go somewhere there. There are nukes because nukes. I think center can only hit where it's unpatable terrain. Well, it's pathable terrain, so I think nukes will never hit over there. Oh, okay. Okay, now they're going for bonus because it will expire soon because it was provoked earlier. Sorry, I lied to you guys. The first bonus appeared uh, later. They do it already. I don't think so. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 that was a painful. <laughs> that pirate ship got its got its revenge. <laughs> okay. Oh, nuke, nuke, nuke. Uh. Yeah, we'll use, 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 use immobilization. Yeah, it has to use because it would be too much casualties and also it's good money. Yeah, ideally you use that when pushing into enemy bases, but. Uh, but actually, okay, with this uh, prestige, it, it's good to use it to an attack base and to get a lot of money. Like, that's uh, quite a money over here, which helps a lot. Ooh, no! Get back in! Okay, good. Good. Okay, we have it over here. Now, uh, solar bombardment would be go good over here. But Judas is kind of paying attention to other stuff, it seems. Okay, if not here, it would be used. But yeah, this is a Guardian Shell is really good. Like, Hydras are not very tanky. So, Guardian Shell is a huge thing for them. <coughs> okay, forward base taken care of. Still 8 minutes to go, so they, they have the time. <coughs> you can see these worms that he popped over here were nuked. So, it takes two nukes to kill uh, one. One nuke deals 750 damage at center and 950 to structures, so it's, so center of the nuke almost kills, but not quite. Yeah, this thing's 1000 HP. But second nuke that it takes only the outer remove. Okay, that was a bad. Okay, now, okay, this should be have been used a little bit further, further there, but okay, better, better than nothing. Okay. And the planetary. These sharp things are also kind of annoying, especially in, if they uh, if they come along with the nuke. Yeah, I can see that there is uh, there is no, no nowhere to get out. Okay, that's that's a smart. Just getting one hydra, not to get all our army nuked. Ooh, 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 ooh. Those nukes are really getting them. Okay, I radiate. Okay. Ooh! That was. Uh, wait, was it available? I don't know. Couldn't see if uh, the simulation was available, but that was. Uh, oh! <laughs> Those nukes are really. Yeah, because they don't have much else here, so nukes uh, tend to hit. You know, nukes won't hit. Uh, if all armies are uh, at this side, nukes won't hit uh, at the opposite side. There is a kind of limit at where nukes hit. Like a distance of uh, everything, you know. And nuke hits uh, every two seconds somewhere on the map, so... Uh, that, okay, that's a pretty good uh, nuke free, yeah, but uh, can be for... a. Uh, for long, okay. Okay, now I go getting to the rifts. Okay, that should be. This should be all in now. Was it? Okay, this was pretty straightforward. Yeah, so it was a really bad prestige because uh, for Artanis, it only costs money and he never actually used it to transfer army. So with P0 Artanis, it would be a lot easier, but okay. Guardian Shell uh, still did, did 
did uh, a lot of work for them without them uh, without guardian shield i think they would be dead but okay this this was a really good game and still a lot of time to go so uh pretty pretty good let's see the overlay okay here we go okay yeah that i said most kills well it's expected for kerrigan but uh okay they did uh, pretty good najudas did kill more, more rifts and uh, it was actually passive provided by judas by artanis that was uh very very good that that guardian shell was a god tier over here as you saw how many times he saved uh, the army so uh yeah pretty good okay dragoons in the end lost only 22 that's uh, pretty good actually so he had like 50 51 dragon in the end uh, pretty much good so kind of maxed almost mm, zealot still some zealots still alive okay and then carry again okay 70 hydras lost but still had 40 uh, 55 in the end, uh, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, again, energy region, emo wave, and expeditious evolutions. Actually, okay, I would actually I would go for primary ability damage, but uh, okay, expeditious evolutions also not uh, <coughs> bad. Uh, see, Judas Guardian Shell, uh, life and shield restoration. I mean. Um, Primary ability damage doesn't affect the uh, the uh, mobilization wave. Is the uh, the other master is so uh, it's only primary ability that's the kinetic blast and crushing grip. So okay, I mean primary abilities for the the sniping rift, but you cannot one shot the rift anyway. The, the deals 300, 300 uh, damage, and with the master it deals three hundred ninety. Crushing grip deals uh, uh, fifty damage and sixty five with the uh, with mastery so i mean okay this maybe better expeditious evolutions in this uh, this instance guardian shell speed increase for warping units uh, and chrono boost efficient yeah he didn't even uh, use the initial maximum speed of adun energy so for nexus like uh, this is kind of you know uh, <laughs> better but yeah it would be good if he used chrono boost efficiency but p0 that's uh, that was a bit bit of a mistake, but they managed to do it comf kind of comfortably. A little bit hairy early game, but still uh, everything under control. So a pretty good uh, game. Uh, so this was it. And for uh, tomorrow we have Rainer Solo. So stay tuned, like and subscribe if you still haven't. And you can also support me on Patreon. Thanks guys for watching and see you around.